Captain America is best known as the red, white, and true blue Steve Rogers, but he is not the only person to don the stars and stripes to protect the land of the free and the home of the brave. Prepare to salute Captain America's through the decades. The first Captain America was Captain Steve Rogers, a hero of the Revolutionary War who helped America claim its independence from Britain and was an ancestor to the Steve Rogers we know and love. It wasn't until World War II that his descendant Steve Rogers was given the super soldier serum by the US Army to defeat Hydra and the Nazis. But when Cap's plane was shot down, he was frozen in ice and new heroes had their day. While the U.S. scrambled to reproduce Cap's super soldier serum, Isaiah Bradley was one of the soldiers on whom it was first tested. The super serum gave him powers and he became an unsung patriot as Captain America. Meanwhile, President Harry S. Truman instated the spirit of 76 William Nosland to fill the gap left by Cap with a tricorn hat. As a dying wish of William Nasland, scrappy reporter Jeffrey Mace vowed to take up the cowl and became the original World War II patriot as Captain America. Next, history professor William Burnside had plastic surgery to impersonate Steve Rogers and take up the mantle, but experimenting with knockoff super serums made him grow paranoid and dangerous. He resurfaced for a short time later when Cap took a vacation. Steve Rogers stopped his look-alike but became the nomad, and new players stepped up to the plate. First, pro baseballer Bob Russo struck out, then tough guy Scar Turpin wasn't tough enough. Finally, Cap fanboy Roscoe Simmons proved himself and earned the shield, but without superhuman abilities, died defending his country. Roscoe's sacrifice inspired Steve's return, but later when the U.S. fell under the manipulations of the Red Skull, Steve was stripped of his stripes, becoming only the captain. In turn, Super Patriot John Walker took up the mantle as a more aggressive and unrelenting cap. Eventually, Steve Rogers took back the cowl and Walker took a walk, later becoming U.S. agent. Cap had quite a few happy years until a sick day forced feathered friend Falcon to fill in, though it didn't last long. It wasn't until the seeming murder of Captain America that Bucky Barnes did what any best friend who survived being Cap's sidekick and a brainwashed Russian operative would do. Bucky took up his friend's mantle in order to avenge his death, subsequently bringing Steve back in the process. When Bucky was later forced to step down as Cap, ex-Special Forces soldier Dave Rickford had a brief brush as the masked Avenger. Rogers couldn't let another Roscoe Simmons happen and reclaimed the cowl. Steve served more years yet, but time eventually caught up with Cap. Steve Rogers lost his super serum and began to rapidly age. So Sam Wilson flew high as Captain America once more, this time for several years. Steve eventually regained his superpowers and has returned to service for the time being. But rest assured that no matter what may come, Many heroes and even villains are willing to don the stars and stripes to protect your life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thank you, Captains, for your service!